La 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 Hello there, my lovely boys and girls at home. How are you doing? How's everything going? Hope you're all very well and ready for another program. Hello, children. Welcome to my grandpa's house. How are you? Is everything fine with you? Kids, have you done your homework today? I sure hope you have. But of course they've done all their homework. I'm sure they've finished all their assignments and now they're sitting in front of the TV and watching our show. Let's, Let's draw, draw a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Shall we start with the first yes, one? Yes, please. Let's go. Ba, ba. Oh. Ba, oh, what's that noise? Ba. Is it a sheep? What is it? What's going ba, on? Ba. Oh, it's the sound of this flock oh, over ba. here. Yes, Grandpa. This beautiful picture has been sent in to us by Sogand Hassani. Isn't it lovely? Oh, thank you very much, little Sogand. What a pretty flock you've drawn. What a nice shepherd. Wow. Check out the dog, Grandpa. Grandpa, what's a dog doing in a flock, huh? Oh, it's obvious, dear. It protects the sheep from danger. <gasps> oh, so the wolves can't attack them, right? Yes. It watches the flock. Oh, what a beautiful picture she's yes, drawn. Yes, it's That's really pretty. Beautiful. I love this drawing very much. I like it too, dear. Thank you so much, Sogand Hassani. Let's draw a picture, Let's draw picture, a picture, everybody. everybody. Well, the second picture is sent in to us oh. by Sayyid Akam Hoshemina Sab, Grandpa. Isn't it lovely? Well, well, what a beautiful name. Akam. Akam, dear. Your drawing is really pretty. That beautiful river and the pretty mountains. Oh, Look, Red. Look Grandpa. at it. Grandpa. Yes, dear? I guess this picture is trying to show us that everybody has to take a vacation just once in oh, a while. Oh, yes, you're right. See, they have a villa too. Yes, it's really beautiful. Look, everybody's gone on a picnic with their family driving in that nice car. It's wonderful. Oh. Next to the beautiful green tree. Oh, that sounds lovely. And I promise I'll take you both to the park so you can play after Blue comes back from school. Oh. You know, children, Blue, my grandchild, has gone to school oh. and he's doing some studies. Hooray! It's going to be so much fun. That's right. I know and it. we thank you, Akam, dear. It's wonderful. Oh, we're so very grateful and looking forward to seeing your pretty, pretty pictures again. So please send them in. All right. Now let's waste no time and move on to let's the next go. picture. Okay, my lovely children. This beautiful picture is from Miss Sahar Aspai. But I don't know why this person's hands are on one side. Both of them. Look at it. Oh, Grandpa. Yes, dear? It seems to be touching the flowers or trying to pick them, don't you think? Oh, yes, you're right. But what a lovely rainbow she's drawn. It's all yellow and red. It's all yellow and red. It's all yellow and red. It's really beautiful. She's drawn two blue clouds, too. Oh, yellow and Look at that. How lovely. Lovely, the yellow sun is. What a beautiful colour you've chosen for it. Well done. You've done Thank you very, very well. much, Sahadir. Send us more of your beautiful pictures. It's really nice. Shall we see the next picture? Yes, I think we should. Please, let's, let's draw, draw a, a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Well, Grandpa. Yes, dear. Zahra Ganji has sent in this excellent picture for us, hasn't she? Oh, yes, look at it. It's a castle. And it's so huge. Castle? It's called a castle, dear. Grandpa, what's a castle? A castle is a huge building that centuries ago used to be built around the cities to protect them. A castle is a place where kings and queens used to live in and had tall towers and big doors made of iron. Oh, yes, it was a time of kingdom. Oh, really? That's so 
interesting. Look, children. Sarah has drawn the huge iron door too, so no one could get you're in right. without permission. Well done, Zahra, dear, for this beautiful drawing. And your colouring is very creative and interesting. Oh, you did such an excellent job, little artist. Honestly, well done. Shall we move on to the next picture? Yes, please. So let's go. Okay, this lovely picture has been sent in to us by Sohel Forkani. Yes, he's drawn a green field, a house, and a couple of trees again. Oh, wow, Grandpa. Yes, darling. Look, can you tell Ooh. me what those black things on the mountains are? Huh? It looks like they're putting tar on them. Yeah, no, that's not it, Grandpa. Don't joke, please. <laughs> Look, the sun has cast a shadow oh, on the Oh, yes, mountains. dear, I knew that. Well done, you're very precise. It's very beautiful. He has even drawn the shadows on the mountains. Well done, you're very precise. He's also drawn a tree oh, over there. Yes. Look, Red, yes, don't I you do think it's beautiful? Grandpa. Everywhere is green. I hope those clouds bring rain for us, too. I hope it rains, too, because the forest will be watered and will grow. <sighs> Let's, Let's draw, draw a, a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Okay, okay. Okay, and this beautiful picture has been sent in to us by Sohil Mahuri. Oh, well done. What a lovely picture. He's drawn a lot of fish. Let me count them. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what? ten. What? His drawing is really beautiful. Look, he's drawn ten fish. Nine? Ten? Yes, dear. <laughs> I counted all of them. Oh, well done. You're so talented, Grandpa. Thanks, well dear. Look, I counted all these lovely ghoul, ghoul, ghoul. Oh, it's goldfish, Oh, I can't fish, pronounce Grandpa. it. Repeat three times, uh, ghoul. Grandpa. Goldfish. Gold. Yes, dear. Like goldfish. Gold, gold fish. Goldfish, Grandpa. Are the goldfish the same colour as me, Grandpa? Well, of course it is beautiful, beautiful, darling. Well, well, what pretty streets. And the mountains are red, too. Yes, I was just looking at them. Why he's coloured the mountains red? Are there any red mountains in the world, Grandpa? I thought they were brown. Well, it seems that he likes to colour the mountains red. I think it's beautiful. And thank you so much, darling. You did a great job drawing all these ten goldfish and the streets. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, we're ever so grateful. And keep on sending us your wonderful, lovely pictures. Let's, Let's draw, draw a picture, a picture everybody. everybody. Here's our next picture, which is drawn by Safo Golami. <laughs> Look at oh, it. Oh, it looks lovely, Safo, dear. Absolutely fabulous. Look what a lovely picture he's drawn. Wow. He's drawn a twin tree oh. and a... Jajiga, a jajiga. What was that word again? Gigantic. Grandpa. All right, so he's drawn a gigantic aeroplane. They all look very good. Good job, oh, my son. Wow! Check out the birds. He's drawn mushrooms too, and they're all dotted on top. Oh, well done! Don't forget those two houses. Look, red. Oh, he's done a wonderful job colouring his picture. It's very neat. By the way, I can see a butterfly too. One of its wings is purple and the other oh, is yellow. Oh, it's so creative. Look at that tree. It's got two bodies. Or take the butterfly, for example. One of its wings is oh. purple and the other wing oh. is a lovely yellow colour, like you, Grandpa. Oh, you're right. Well done to this beautiful picture that's been drawn so well and clean. Let's, Let's draw, draw a, a picture, picture everybody. everybody. And now, this picture, which has been sent to us by Asal Noruzi. See, Red? Yes. Two cute little kids are passing the street. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I have a question for you. Go ahead. Which side do you have to look first while passing the street? Oh, oh, Grandpa, I learned that in kindergarten, didn't I? So tell me. First of all, when we want to pass the street, we have to take our parents' hands, don't we? That's right. Uh, and then our teacher has told us to first look at the left and then walk a little. And okay. then you're in the middle of the street and you look right and then you move forward and reach the other. 
other side. That's right. Oh, well done. She's drawn a traffic light and a car too. Look at it. Oh, that's right. Well done. She's completely obeyed the traffic laws, hasn't she, Grandpa? Of course she has. Now one more question. What should drivers do when they see the red light in the streets? Oh, the drivers must stop the car immediately. Oh, well done. What should they do if it was yellow? Um, uh, if it was yellow, let me think, uh, uh, they must stop oh. the car too. And if they wanted to keep on driving, they must go very slowly and very, very carefully, oh, mustn't that's they? that's right. And what if the traffic light was green? Oh, but, but, Grandpa. Yes, dear? The traffic light doesn't have a green colour. Oh, of course it does. It's red, yellow and green. What should they do when they see the green light? Oh, yes, it does have green, uh, but I thought you wanted to say blue. You know, because of our colours, red, yellow... Oh, that's right, blue. blue, my grandchild. Oh, he's at school now. Oh, if it's red, Grandpa... Oh, yes... Not red, uh, dear, green. Yes, yes, red. I'm sorry, I got a little nervous, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, calm down, dear, it's okay. all right. If it turns green, drivers must stop the car and the pedestrians can cross the street then. Oh, that's right. Oh, well done, my smart little girl. <laughs> See, Grandpa. Look at you. See, Grandpa, I knew it all. I knew it all. Our teacher at kindergarten has taught us everything. Oh, wonderful, sweetheart. Absolutely now let's everything. go and see the next picture. <laughs> well, Sayida Sabo has drawn this lovely picture for us, hasn't she? And sent it in so we can see it. Oh, well, well, what nice weather. It's raining and some people are walking on the sidewalk. Look, Red, they also have two colourful umbrellas. Wow, look, the colours are so beautiful. Yellow and blue and red. Oh, of course. Look. They seem to be waiting for their school bus. That's right, Grandpa. They have put up their umbrellas so they won't get wet, standing alongside the street waiting for the school bus to take them all to school. <laughs> oh, you're right. And I guess their father has parked his car next to their house. Do you see it? Yes, I do. But why don't they take their dad's car, huh? Oh, I don't know, dear. But maybe they're more comfortable with the school bus. This oh, way the traffic yeah. jam will be I reduced so, a little. Grandpa. Look at that kid sticking out his hand trying to say to the cars, Stop! Stop! Take us to school, please! Oh, yes. But look how beautifully she's drawn the umbrellas and what a lovely sky! Oh, great job, Sabo, dear. You did a wonderful job. Do it again and send another picture in. OK. Now, shall we go and see the next yes, picture? Yes, please. Let's draw a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Oh, lion, lion. This one of oh, the this lion is walking jungle. slowly in the forest. Oh, Oh, but I am a kind lion. I am such a kind lion. Oh. <laughs> Children, Seper Alipur has drawn and sent in this lovely, kind, wild lion from the jungle. Oh. <laughs> I love children. <laughs> oh, we love lions too, don't we, Grandpa? Oh, do you see how well I could play the lion? Did you see that? Did you oh, enjoy it? Oh, you sounded just like a lion, Grandpa. Terrifying. Oh, don't be, darling. So Look, the lion is smiling. See what a lovely picture he's drawn. Oh, Grandpa. Yes, dear? Look, the lion has come to his green field to have a fresh breath of air. Oh, that's right. Well, well, he's drawn two pretty clouds, too. What lovely weather well it has. Well done, Seber, dear. You did a wonderful job, didn't you? You are very artistic. All right. Red, darling, shall we go and see the next picture? Yeah, sure. Let's, Let's draw, draw a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Oh, we have mountains, forests and deserts again. Dewdrops trembling on the flowers. 
and the beautiful oh, sky. La, 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 you sing la, la, very well, you know. Oh, yes, yes. This picture is wonderful. Well done. Well, of course, I do have a good voice. And now, this lovely picture, which has been sent to us by Orefe Montazerol Goem. Wow, what a hard name to pronounce. Thank you, you very much, dear. Look at the picture. A mountain, a house, a field, trees, sun, and clouds. That's all, Grandpa. All right, dear. Take a deep breath now. This picture is really pretty. A green field, <laughs> the blue sky, the very, very long trees. Oh, well done. You've done a terrific job. Look at this lovely well picture. Well done. Fantastic job, Arafa, dear. Your drawing is very beautiful. We're looking forward to seeing more of your lovely pictures, aren't we? Let's, Let's draw, draw a, a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Okay, now, we want to review all the pictures we just showed you today. Let's have a look at them. Okay. Okay. The very first picture belonged to Sorgand Hassani, which was about that shepherd, you remember? And the dog and the flock of sheep he looked after, you remember? That beautiful picture with a house, a car... Flowers, mountains, and the sun was sent to us by Sayed Okom Hashimi Nasa. That's right, children. And Sal Aspai drew us that beautiful, colourful rainbow, the sun and the clouds, with that little boy watering the flowers in it. How colourful and lovely it was. Zahra Ganji, our dear friend, drew us a lovely, artistic, legendary castle. Oh, oh yes. Sohail Forgani drew a field and those beautiful mountains with sun casting shadows on them. Yes, children. Sohail Mahuri drew us that picture with the big road that was in the middle of the city, the one with the red mountains far away in the distance, that we wondered why they were red, not brown. Okay, and Safokolami, a dear friend of Hot Hot Channel, drew a very pretty picture. It had a twin tree, an aeroplane, two houses, and many other beautiful things you could think of. Oh, my friends at home, that picture with traffic signs was sent to us by Asa Luruzi, and it was very educational, wasn't it, Grandpa? Oh, my dear Sayed Sabah drew rain, umbrellas, and a couple of tiny sweet kids in her picture. Her picture was really beautiful. It was lovely. Oh, Grandpa, that picture with the kind lion in the green field was sent in to us by Seper Alipur, wasn't it, Grandpa? And children, the last picture belonged to Arafe Montazerol Koem, which was a lovely field. Wonderful. All right, children at home, my darling friends, you can always send in more pretty pictures to our website or you can email them to us. We are waiting to see them because we love pictures of all different colours, don't we, Grandpa? Okay, don't worry. I'm sure they'll remember the uh, address correctly and that you will say it correctly always. Uh -huh. Children... Uh -huh. Don't forget to send your pictures to our website address and we look forward to your lovely oh, my art. Friends, we're looking forward to your beautiful pictures. Don't forget us. Okay, Red Sweetie, let's go before your brother comes home from school. I have to make well, lunch, we have to remember? Go for a walk as well. Don't of course, forget after that brother. we'll go for a walk. Okay, my friends, we'll see you in the next episode of Let's Draw a Picture, everybody. Goodbye, kids. Goodbye. So we'll see you later. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye.